Good morning, guys. So we're in another slightly new area to me. I'm parked right near Exha, Alberta, uh, which is not too far from Canmore. I didn't want to try and do any sunrise stuff this morning because it's snowing pretty heavily right now. You cannot see any stars. The moon is nowhere to be seen. So there's not there wasn't really going to be any hope of getting a good sunrise. So we're a little ways into the canyon now. The uh, creek is surprisingly not solidly frozen. <laughs> I was walking on a little ways back there and uh, yeah, my feet kind of break right through the top layer and you can kind of, there's little streams that have cut their way through. I have no idea how deep this creek is. I'm assuming it's not super deep. So if I do go through, I should only get it up to my, the top of my gaiters, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we're getting close to our first set of ice falls here. Yeah, it's a very, very cool looking area because it's just massive canyon walls and it makes you feel so small. Like you can see behind these walls on all the, on the sides, just massive. And it just, it's super cool to feel so, so insignificant and small in here. <laughs> hit the end of the maintained trail that they expect people to go on, but uh, we're gonna keep going on further up into this canyon because I think it should look pretty cool. Uh, don't know how much further I'm gonna go. It's not really a risky area because there's not a whole lot of snow buildup, so the chances of getting hit with an avalanche or something like, like that is pretty much next to nothing, but uh, I'll keep my eyes open just in case things start picking up or something and they can head out. All right guys, so first kind of cool shot so far. There's a mountain peak in the distance. I saw it just a little ways back and so I've just finally gotten to a point where there's enough elevation that I can actually kind of see most of the peak. But the really cool thing about it is that it's just, it's surrounded by clouds. It's a little hazy itself, but for the most part, it's kind of, I don't know, it, it's kind of framed by the mountains and then you got these nice pine trees in the foreground and all that, so. I'm going to try and get the shot. I don't know how well it's going to actually work out, but uh, it's definitely worth the effort because it looks, it looks really cool. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. I'm shooting these images at 1 over 40, F11, and ISO 100. I think I've got good focus on it, and it's really just the waiting game of the clouds moving just enough to expose the peak. And, well, I mean, luckily now we've got the sun coming up, so it's starting to kind of illuminate the left side of the image, which could look end up looking really cool. Cause I'm afraid that I'll end up here alone Hope you'll understand how much I need ya All right, so I think I was able to get the image. It, I got two that I, from the back of the camera. They just look super cool. Out, I was focusing right near infinity, so that's right with kind of the sweet spot I know on this lens. That is usually where I have to shoot when I'm shooting a distant peak. So it should work out. Everything, everything I've done here should work out. It's just a matter of getting it back into Lightroom and hoping that kind of the natural elements of the photo actually turned out turn out well. All right, so it looks like we might have hit the point of no return. 
Up until about here, I've been following a pretty well packed down, real well used trail. But after this point, nothing. Take me back to when we were kids and didn't care if we were acting stupid because all we had was us. All right, so shooting this one at one over 60, F11, ISO 100. I don't have a time to waste, I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. All right guys, I think this is gonna do it. <laughs> guys, so make sure you stick around for next week's video because it should be pretty exciting. The, uh, if everything goes to plan, I'll be heading up to Nordegg 